We gotta kill her first. Alright. Oh, she's not dead. Okay, now she's dead. Get the bird next. Bird next. Oh, shit, no! Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and man, oh man, do I got a lot of stuff to update you guys on. Um, I have been working my butt off uh, for pretty much the entire in-game week. Uh, if you look at the top of my screen, you can see that it is already day 90, and tomorrow is Horde 91. I, I've been doing three principal things uh, during that time. Um, I have been working on the moat, which is close to being finished. At least I should say the first iteration of it is close to being finished. Um, so basically, uh, it is three blocks of concrete all the way around. And um, I've left, you know, I left a little ramp on this side so the zombies can get back out of the moat. I don't want them necessarily trapped down there banging on the wall. I have a little bit, a few more rebars here to upgrade, uh, just making concrete like crazy. And um, yeah, so I got that done. I work, I've been working on the garden. And it looks like the plants are starting uh, to grow. The The corn was the first, and potatoes were the first things I planted. And they're already using up water. Uh, so we're going to have to deal with that. Um, yeah, it's time to refill the water. Now, one of the things I haven't really been able to get a clear answer on, and I, I went through and read all of the Ravenhurst notes, um, watched a couple videos, and that is if... Um, uh, you know, it, it, notice that I have four plants, right? So I basically have four rows consuming one row of water. And it works because it worked on the lake. But if I were to only make it so there's, you know, there's a row of water uh, in between every two rows instead of every four ro rows, would that actually, in fact, make the water last longer or not? Um, does it actually matter, I guess, is the question. So those of you who are Ravenhurst veterans, if you know the answer to that, um, I would very much appreciate it. But right now I'm going to just keep doing it this way um, because it's less water to have to fill in for the crops. But I have a feeling like, you know, maybe it's consuming more, uh, consuming it faster. Okay. Uh, I did kind of screw up my pool with doing, you know, working with all the water, but... Uh, we're going to actually put some points into um, living off the land, I think it is, so that we can make our own well. So that way I don't have to keep pulling water out of here. I, I, it's, I, I don't know how to fix this. Maybe there's some kind of command, admin command you can run to fix uh, broken water. Uh, if you guys know that, let me know that in the comments too. But I, I, I don't want to mess up my pool. I want to keep the water the way that it is. So, um. Let's see, what is the third thing that we've been doing? Um, so we worked on the moat, worked on the garden, uh, and I've been mining. So I started a mine. Uh, the, the hatch for it's right there. goes way down, mostly mining stone just to get resources. Now, last night, I went back up to the horde base and repaired it and upgraded it so that it's ready to go. And um, that way, you know, I don't have to worry about that at the last minute. So what I'd like to do for days 90 and 91 um, is... Uh, do a couple more things around here on camera for you guys, and then uh, we're going to go actually have some fun. Actually, what I would like to do is go around to all the traders and check their stash because, you know, we've got maxed out better barter now and see uh, what they what they got. I really need better sh a better shotgun and even a better assault rifle, uh, tactical assault rifle, uh, because the two that I have are, you know, at the low end of the yellow, and they're about ready to be repaired, and they're just going to keep getting worse and worse. Okay, so anyway, let's see. I went and mined up a bunch of coal, and I have a ton of uh, nitrate. I had even more than this because I, I spent a, a day-ish or whatever in the in the uh, snow biome back where I had found that nitrate made, and I just mined tons and tons of nitrate. And I've already made a bunch of gunpowder with this, but I didn't have a lot of coal to go with it. And I'm using coal both for... Um, you know, both for uh, filtration as well as making gunpowder. So... It kind of, you know, serves a dual role, and therefore we go through it fairly quickly. Now, something I discovered, some of you probably already know this, but for those of you who don't, I just want to show you something. Um, 
let's grab one log and one piece. Uh, actually, we'll grab two logs and one piece of coal. Okay, so if I put one piece of coal in here, I get a minute and 40 seconds of burn time. Okay, if I go over to the workbench and I turn this into wood, I get two pieces. Or no, I get four pieces of wood. Okay, and those four pieces of wood give me three minutes and 20 seconds of burn time. Did I, wait a second, hold on. Let me, did I do that right? I thought I only got two things of wood. Here, let's try this again. I'm gonna put uh, that in there for the moment too. Okay, let's try this again. So, oh, I know what I did. I think I used up both logs. Okay, so I'm just doing one, one log here. Um, and yes, I can only do one and I get two pieces of wood. Okay. So those two pieces of wood, if I put it in the forge, give me one minute and 40 seconds. So basically one log and one coal are equivalent if you're using the workstation to make the wood. But if you take these logs and you turn them into wood in the table saw, you get five pieces of wood instead of two, right? And so in this case, I have a, a lot, I have almost twice as much burn, no, I have over twice as much burn time with this um, using the saw. So that means that logs turned into wood on the table saw are much more efficient for burning than coal is. And that's just something I didn't really pay attention to until, you know, just recently. Uh, and learn that. And I, and that's a really good thing because that way I can conserve my coal and use it for filtering and for gunpowder rather than, you know, making, um, uh, using it for burning. Cause I was using it for burning. Of course, you know, I had a whole bunch of excess coal, so it's not like I was wasting it per se, but you know, we want to be as efficient as we can, of course. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, I got a couple of food things going on. We got to get our, our water taken care of too. I did make a wood stove. I don't remember if I had done that uh, before the uh, on the last episode or not, but I did make that. Um, I also put another personal crafting station here because you need this to make things like flour and fruit salad and, and green salad and that sort of thing. So, you know, it's needed for cooking. Uh, so let's put that stuff in there right now. And uh, um, let's see, I got a couple more parts I want to put away. Now I need to bring some more concrete and steel with me back up to the horde base when we go up there to actually do the horde. Uh, so I have to remember uh, to do that. My choke point right now on concrete is limestone, and that's why I was just down mining in the stone directly as, you know, like a madman so that I could, you know, get some limestone to make concrete. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, now we have 200 in there and 200 in there. That's more than enough for us to take to the, um, the horde base. And let's see, for steel, let's grab this 190. I still have some more steel up there, too. Everything's upgraded that I wanted to upgrade, but... The, um, I just want to have, you know, extra for repairs. So I'm going to put both of these things in the, in the bike. I'm, I'm not driving the, the four by four around a whole lot just because it uses so much gasoline. So I'm actually using the mini bike uh, quite a bit. Um, and you know, going easy on the four by four. And again, for gasoline, it's the, it's the plastic gas cans. That's the choke point on that. I mean, I have plenty of oil shale now. Uh, <clears throat> it's just that, man. You have to get a, t a ton of plastic gas cans. I don't think it's efficient to make them. I can make them, but it costs like five glue and 10 plastic or something like that. And you only get 120 cans. It's very, in my opinion, very, very unbalanced. Uh, I don't know if unbalanced is the word. It's just not economical to, d to make it. It's far, far more economical to go out, wrench cars. You get a bunch of cans, plus you get all the other parts from wrenching cars and the benefits, you know, the skill points and that sort of thing. So... Um, anyway, that's how, how we're getting gas cans, but it is kind of a choke point for us. Now let's go ahead and grab all of our water in here and re-water the farm. And here again, I just want to put out the request again for you Ravenhurst veterans. Would I be further ahead having a row of water for each two rows of plants instead of having four rows of plants share the row. In other words, would the water last longer if I did it that way? Okay, so if you can let me know that in the comments, that'd be much appreciated. But for the time being, being rather, this is the way we're doing it. And so what you want to do is get 
uh, the water in each corner and then you can intersect it in the middle. See now this one is kind of weird. Let's just see what happens if we, you know, it, even, it won't even let me put water in there. Okay, let's just put one in the middle. There it goes. Okay, it reconnected there. And doing the water thing is not going to be that big of a deal uh, once I get the well going, which is what we're going to actually do next after I replenish all the water here. So right in the middle there, and it should... Um, oh, no, it didn't connect. Damn it. Okay. Now we're going to have to do another pail here. Come on. There you go. Water has always been a little bit weird to work with in seven days. Okay, so let's put this one in here. It's probably easier for me just to step in the ditch. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to replenish more. But at least it's working. I mean, everything's growing and it's looking good. The only thing I didn't replant at the moment is pumpkins because I have like a, a, just a surplus of pumpkins and, you know, haven't really done anything with them recipe wise yet. I think I have, I, I can make a couple recipes, but, um, you know, I mean, I've got all the seeds so we can, we can plant them later. I've got a, a full stack of 20 right there. Okay. Before we dip into the pool again, I want to, uh, I want, let's get the well made. Let's just do that right now. That way I don't wreck my pool any further than I already have. I want to also put this away over here and we've got to eat too. So as far as food goes, um, I've just, you know, I mean, I've got lots of food, so I've had to be, be a little more creative with what I'm making. So right now, for example, I've got yucca chips, um, 15 food, five health, doesn't give any stamina bonus, but you know, I save things like cornbread and potatoes for that because, or baked potatoes more precisely, because I can use that for mining, right? And get that stamina bonus. I also made a pretty decent number of, uh, of jerky and pieces of jerky. I got six here and another 10 uh, in here. And let's see, I've, I've been making salt in here. So we still need, oh yeah, we got a couple blueberry pies as well. So we've got food, you know, we just, I just have to kind of get creative, see what recipes I know. And I'm just, I'm actually enjoying the food system. Um, and now I know I'm not playing with the spoiler, John. Uh, for those of you who are watching me for the first time, I was well underway in this series when Ravenhurst updated and added the food spoilage, and I did not want to start over, uh, which is why I'm not playing with that. But the next time I do Ravenhurst, which I'm certainly, I, I certainly plan to because I'm really enjoying the mod, uh, you know, then we'll, of course we'll have the food spoilers. So, all right, what are we doing? Um, so we're replenishing our food with the yucca chips. We're saving those two things for mining, so I'm going to put those back in there for now. Um, we have some more salt, and we can make a, a bunch more jerky. You guys were telling me in the comments that jerky is like what you want to make in with the food spoilage mechanic because, you know, then it doesn't spoil, and that certainly makes sense. Um, so we still need, what is it, 9 minutes and 53 seconds of burn time. Let's get some wood here. Now, I've had... Um, you know, throughout all of the work that I've been doing around here, uh, I've had lots of screamer issues. And uh, just as an example of what I've been contending with, take a look at uh, this little segment here. Thank you. 
So yeah, crazy screamers, man. Crazy, crazy screamer action. Okay, let's put this up here. Let's put the wood back in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put these fortitude glasses on. Okay, and that's going to give us an effective point uh, of fortitude five. Okay, so I have, I have four actual points and then now we have five. I have one point available and I've been sitting on this until I started the recording. And if we take living off the land um, three, industrial farmer, notice that it says it unlocks wells and fishing traps, which is another thing we're going to do in this episode too. I actually found the recipe for the fishing trap and I think I showed you that uh, showed you guys that on camera too. I'm not interested in the cannabis farm because the cannabis makes you more hungry and foods just no. I, I'm not at the point at least right now where uh, you know, I can afford to make myself more hungry. Okay, so we're going to take Industrial Farmer. That means we should now be able to make the well. Do we do that in the farming table, perhaps? Let's take a look. A stone well. Oh, we have to make that in the concrete mixer. Very interesting. Okay, so we need concrete mix, pipes, twine, and five buckets of water. Okay, so that means we are going to have to dip into the pool one last time. Let's see if we can get over here where we're not going to break the water. It starts to break and then it fills itself back in. See, I thought I would be able to just infinitely get water out of here as long as the blocks didn't break. But they will eventually break the more you pull out of here. But this is not going to be a problem any longer because we are going to set ourselves up a well. Okay, cool. So we managed to get all that without breaking any water. Let's grab some wood and some coal out of here. And we're going to go over here and prime that and then go to here and let's make five buckets of water. And when that's done, then we should be able to make our stuff. So I put all of my concrete in the mini bike. I'm going to have to go grab some of that. Let's do that now. You know, there's a bunch of crops just across the street in this little park area. I thought about going over there and harvesting all of that. Uh, because I did lose some seeds. How much concrete did that say we needed? Let's look again. Uh, you know, during the move, we need 50 concrete. Okay. Um, And so, you know, I'm not at full capacity at the moment. And so this first, you know, harvest that we're going to do, we're going to have to turn some of that back into seeds. I need to get some fertilizer going again, too. Uh, but there's some stuff over here, you know, that we could harvest. The reason I wouldn't do it is because, especially with, like, the flowers and so forth, that kind of looks nice, you know? So, but we've got hops, we got mushrooms, we got snowberries, yucca, blueberries, all that stuff. It might be kind of kind of cool if we harvest that. I, I'm going to just leave it alone for now, but if we really have the need to do that, you know, then we will. All right, let's hop back in here. We need to get our five buckets of water. We got three. Okay, so it also said we needed pipes and twine. So twine and pipes and what was the other thing? That's everything except for the two buckets of water. Okay. Twenty-two more seconds and then we can make that. Okay, while we're waiting for that, I'll just show you the mine here really quick. It's it's pretty basic. I've got a little drop box up there and um we just go all the, it goes all the way down to bedrock. Main, I mainly wanted to go to bedrock just because that way I'm far away from the zombies and I can mine at night without them, you know, detecting me. Uh, but I haven't run into any pockets down here other than the big lead pocket up there. And lead's the one thing I do not need at present. I've got like a full chest full of lead. Okay, so I mined way the hell down there, and I've mined, started mining off, you know, doing branch mines off this way too. And again, I'm I'm just mining stone primarily because I need limestone for concrete. And if we run into a pocket of something, preferably coal, because the only coal mine that I currently have is back at our original base, uh, that would be great. Okay, let's hop on back up here. Grab that other bucket of water, and we should be able to set up our well. Uh, well, we still have to make it, though, first. Okay, so let's go over here. And let's make a stone well. Look at that, man. Awesome. It'll take a little over a minute. Now, we're going to have to make some more buckets, um, you know, to to continue, excuse me, filling up the garden here. Let's also get some 
Um, let's get some. Uh, I don't have enough rotting flesh. I was going to say, let's get some fertilizer going too, but I need 50 rotting flesh among other things. So we're going to have to pick up some more rotting flesh um, as we continue on. All right, now let's grab this stack of worms and we're going to also place the fishing trap. I can't place the fishing trap in the pool. It has to be near uh, natural water, according to the description. I tried to place it by the pool anyways, uh, but and it didn't work. So there you go. Um, what are we doing? Fishing trap. I think I put that. Where did I put that? Uh, it's going to be actually in the building crate. There we go. So this is the fish trap here. Again, I found the, the uh, recipe for that, but now we could actually make it anyways because we just took that next point. Okay, so let's just keep that in our inventory. And uh, let's see how where we're at here. It's done. All right, neat. Now, what I think I'm going to do... I mean, I could put the well out by the garden. The problem with that, though, is I still have to filter the water. And the, the water filters in here. I could move the whole thing out there, but then, you know, it's out there and it could potentially get damaged by zombies. So I think the thing that makes the most sense is to put the well right here. Ooh, wow, that thing's bigger than I remembered it. So, does it matter which direction it is? I don't think it does. There we go. Look at that. We have our own well. Hot damn. I love it. Okay, so now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make some more buckets because I only have these three. Let's get these three going, though. This is cool, man. We have our very own well. I love it. I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so let's... Uh, oop, I put my shit back. Well, no, the shit's in the, actually in the box there. Let's grab this and uh, that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to put uh, prime the thingamadoodle and get three of these going. Now, uh, buckets. Do I make those in here or the forge? I do not remember. It looks like we make it in here and we need forged iron. Okay, so if we wanted to go batshit crazy with the buckets, um, we need three per ditch. So we got one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight times three is 24. So that way we could just do all the water in one, one thing. Okay. And we have plenty of iron. That is not a problem. Uh, let's just grab a full stack of iron and we have three. So we need to do right. We have three, right? We don't have any more buckets. We have three that we put in here. Okay. So yeah, let's do 21 more buckets. Can I do that many? 71. No, we don't need 71. We'll do 21. Okay, that's going to take a little while. So um, what I'm going to do, guys, is just use the three that I currently have. I'm going to get all the water um, back in the ditches. And then when that's done, uh, I'll bring you back, and we're going to go place our fish trap out on the nearest lake. Okay, so I'll see you in just a bit. All right, guys, we are back. I got uh, all the water taken care of. And it looks like we finished making our salt. So let's grab... Uh, we can make meat stews now, too. I think I'm going to hold off on using that meat up for jerky at the moment. Uh, that being said, though, let's take a stack of jerky with us. We do have the two pies as well, uh, but there, there's only two of those. Let's make sure we have a full stack of mineral water, and I think we're ready to go. I got a stack of worms and the fish trap. Now, it tells us here... Um, Right-click to place near water. Fill the placed trap with worms to begin the catching process. You need to be standing in natural water and place the trap on the shore, not over the water. We'll occasionally trap fish and other debris. Okay. So let's grab, uh, make sure we have a full stack of 762s. I mean, I've been using um, shotgun slugs, by the way. I'm not... Uh, 100% convinced I like them better than the buckshot there, you know, but they are armor piercing. So uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll keep using them for the moment and we'll see how things go with, all, with that. I think, yeah, let's bring the shovel with us. Let's just bring it. You never know. We probably don't need to bring this, but we'll bring it anyway. So yeah, our shotgun is getting really low and our pistol is getting kind of low too. So we should probably bring a couple of repair kits, but what I'm hoping is that we can find 
a better version of those um, at one of the traders. I don't have any points in, in rifle skill to speak of. That's the thing about Ravenhurst, man. You kind of... It, it's very difficult to be a jack of all trades because it takes so incredibly long, you know, to um, to level the skills in here. Uh, let's look at these. One of you guys were telling me that the loot bonus can be better on luckies, and I, I apparently I sold some that were better than the one I had. So this has a loot bonus of plus five. That has a loot bonus of plus three. Oh wow, yeah, definitely. Okay, so. I'm going to wear those just so I don't accidentally sell them. And we'll we'll go ahead and sell those. Now, we have 10,000 coins. We don't have a ton of coin uh, either. But let's just go ahead and uh, we're going to take the mini bike. I think it should have a full thing of gas. Uh, that's for Horde Knight that we're going to bring. Uh, the, the 4x also has a, a full tank of gas, but, but it doesn't have any extra gas. Um, so, well, I guess it does have a little, you know what? I'm going to take all of this stuff out of here and put it in the mini bike. So we have it, you know, with us if we need it. I also need to put a bedroll in here too, because I want to reset the bedroll at the horde base, but I'll do that on horde night. Okay. So we're going to go this direction. Let's look at the map for a second. So yeah, these lakes over here are the closest bodies of water that we have this one here in particular, I think. So let's go to that one. We'll get our fish trap set down and then, you know, come back and check it at a later date and it should have a bunch of fish and other debris inside of it. There's a bunch of bird's nests out here I need to harvest at some point too. Just been really, really busy. I notice I get this freeze on Ravenhurst too. Lasts for a couple of seconds. Something's probably loading in somewhere, I'm guessing new new chunks or whatever okay so we've got this uh this water over here it's a nice nice sized lake here grab this that said we have to be standing in water and we have to place it on the shore let's read that one last time right click to place near water fill the place trap with words begin to catch press you need to be standing in natural water and place a trap on the shore you cannot use that at this time Okay, what's, what am I doing wrong here? Do I have to be in deeper in the water? Ronnie, get the hell out of here. Oh, what did you drop for us, buddy? Same thing. I'm seeing a lot of stacks of cash and wood splitter mod schematics in yellow bags. It's really weird. So do I have to be deeper in the water to place this? I don't understand why this isn't working. See, it wants to place it there. Do I have to place it further out? Huh. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Cannot use that at this time. It, it brings, like, the little red f frame down. Is it because... Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's because... I took my Fortitude glasses off and I left them back at the base. And now I now I don't actually have... Um, let's see. I don't actually have Living Off the Land 3 or Industrial Farmer. But that shouldn't matter because, I mean, I found the, the recipe for it. it. says it's disabled by a status effect. Yeah, that's my guess. All right, let, let's run back and grab the Fort glasses really quick and see if that's what it is. Because it would be nice to, you know, be catching fish without having to do anything. And, you know, that just gives us another food source if if we need it, which we probably will. All right, let's try this again. Just 
Still doesn't let me place it. You cannot use that at this time. I'm standing in natural water. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. I, w I was trying to put worms in it. What the hell? Now it won't place again. Uh, I'm just kind of going along the shore here. Oh, shit. I think this is buggy, man. Is there a timer on it? Why would there... If that's so, why would there be a timer on it? What would be the purpose of that? Get out of here. Got a lot of shit to do today, and I don't have time to mess with you. All right, let's try this again. See, it seems to want to place right in the water. Well, we had it for a second, and then I accidentally picked it up. I probably should have held E on it. Um, where was that spot that it liked? It, it liked this spot right here, but now it doesn't like it anymore. What the hell, man? Okay, well, I don't have time to do this all day. Yeah, we got it to work once, but then I picked the damn thing back up. Um, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll see if I can research this, ask on the Discord or something. But, um, I mean, we've, for whatever reason, God only knows, we got it to work there momentarily. But, unfortunately, uh, it won't go back there now. And I can't, uh, I can't understand why. I don't understand why. Right click the place near water, fill the place trap with worms. You need to be standing in natural water and place a trap on the shore, not over the water. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, <clears throat> let's uh let's move on. All right, guys, we are at uh Trader Rex. Um and I actually already sold him my stuff, and then I had to go AFK for a while. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at his inventory. Um, so he is, this could be good. Um, I'm going to hold off on that though. I don't have a lot of money and I really would like to get, especially get a new auto shotgun. So I'd be interested in that. Um, I'd also be interested in art of mining volume three for 1750. That's going to harvest some more from all over. Yeah. That's going to be super useful i'm gonna take that I, I wouldn't mind night stalker either but that's not quite as important um so let's see what else does he have here don't really care about any of that stuff at the moment don't care about we could buy this just to repair this but again it's a little bit steep for where we're currently at let's take a look at his normal inventory here Okay, nothing too too crazy here. Uh, all right. Shit, man, I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking. You know what me. we are gonna do though is we're gonna take a job from you since you're in our town. Um, preferably just a fetch. Um, we could do. I'm trying to think of what's to the east of here. I think there's a desert town to the east of here. Uh, excuse me, but we're gonna go down south. So I think this tier three fetch is probably well, going to be. Come to think of it, I do. Oh, it's back in the boxing gym. Okay, yeah, we should be able to do that fairly quickly. Uh, so let's take that one. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head uh, down to this town. Um, there's a trader gen down there. I think it's a trader gen, and then we we'll do that fetch quest. So I'll meet you guys down there. All right, I'm going to just speed run this because uh, I've already done this for you guys. Um, and I'm just going to go after the satchel and the fat loots um, just because we don't have a lot of time. All right, so here we go.
Oh no, I just lost my shotgun. I didn't realize it was that low. Oh, that sucks. Oh man, alright. That really sucks. Wasn't paying attention. Absolutely hate that about this game. Or, or this mod, rather. That you lose your tool when it completely breaks. Instead of just it malfunctioning, you know? You know what? I think this calls for some explosives. Except for guess who doesn't have their explosives with them because he used the frickin' button. <laughs> oh, man. To put shit back in the crate and it put the explosives back. Oh, man. All right. Nothing's ever easy. Nothing is ever frickin' easy. Let's go back in here. Make sure this is loaded. Can't believe we lost our fucking shotgun. All right, so the loots are over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Under the floor, maybe? Shows right here. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so we got that done. Yeah, we definitely need to find a shotgun now. I was so busy, you know, killing these guys that I wasn't paying attention to the condition of the shotgun. Damn it, Jim! Alright, so these guys... Here, let's pop out this way. I know there's a whole bunch of lockers in here that we could check, but... I, and I might even come back and do that at a later point in time, but not right now. Get out of here, you stupid bird. Go down. You go down, too. Okay, so... Um, we've got a bunch of Zeeks... ...up here that we're gonna have to deal with. Let's switch stuff. Oh, man, I can't believe I didn't bring my frickin'... Ah, oh, it's explosives. All right. Um... Let's deal with these guys. Just put that there for now. I don't know how well it's going to stop them, but... Okay. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the nurse that does the poisoning stuff. We got to kill her first. Oh, she's not dead. Okay, now she's dead. Get the bird next. Bird next. Oh, shit, no! <laughs> oh, my God. You know, we could find... We could find fat loots in the... In, uh, or a shotgun in the fat loots. Um, let's get back up there again. Is that exploder gone? Nothing's ever easy, man. Nothing is ever frickin' easy, especially in Ravenhurst. Okay, let's get up here. This might actually have worked out in our favor. You get the hell out of here. I don't know who all's left up here, but we don't have time to be messing with it. Let's just go. that out of the way in case I need to make a mad dash. Okay, so, um, wait. Search. Thought I was gonna have to bust it off for a second. Would have ruined it. You know what? We better take one of these, too. Okay, hidden stash. Oh, nice. Very nice. And we got another rad remover, too. Seeds, I'll take that. Oh, man. Oh, glad that didn't blow up. You know what? I'm actually going to pick this up because we need an extra bedroll. We've got some ink. And is there anything back here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's get the purse. Okay, that's good. Let's get the hell out of here.
Yeah, that actually worked in our favor to <laughs> aggro all of them and chase them off. Oh, damn it. I fell through the hole there. Suck it, guys. Okay, now let's go visit Trader Jin. And then we'll uh, head back, do Rex uh, turn in, and then uh, figure out what we're going to do after that. Okay, um, I'm going to sell her these, and we'll sell this. And I don't think we want to sell anything else. All right, let's look at her secret stash. Shotgun choke mod would be nice. She's got a green pistol. All right, let's look at uh, normal stuff. Blue AK, but we already have a blue AK back at the base. Nope, that's all she has. All right, um, dog on it. I'm not gonna. Just brighten my day. I'm not going to uh, take any quests from her right now. I mean, we will eventually, probably between this gin and Wrecked, you know, run the quest cycles and stuff. But for now, uh, we got higher priorities to worry about. Let's check this. Uh, I'll take the Rock Busters and the Eye Candy. Don't care about the rest of that for now. All right, let's go do the turn in uh, with Wrecked, and we're probably going to run up to the other Trader Gen way up north, too. Okay. That's a pretty nice gift there. The boots are actually worth more, though. The claw hammer is worth even more. Holy crap, look at that. I think we're going to tell that, uh, take that and just sell it back to him because we have a, a nail gun and the ability to make a blue nail gun. Uh, okay, so let's see. Where did that go? Let's just sell this straight back to him. And shit, man, I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. I want to look again. You know what? I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. I hope I don't regret doing that. You know, if we find a shotgun that we just barely have enough money for, but uh, okay. So you don't have any. What's this uh, weapon here? That's a green sledge. No, I don't need that right now. Oh, you want a guarantee, okay. huh? Well, Let's look at. Maybe uh, you try Shamway. <laughs> no, wrong thing. Let's look at your jobs. Okay, so now we're gonna be heading north. Uh, north, basically. So there's a fetch and clear. There's a fetch to the east. This one would be in the desert. He doesn't really have any fetches that are or tier three fetches, anyways, that are to the north. Hey, so, jerk, you need some work or what? Experimental house button. We'll take that. Okay. So, what I want to do now is I want to go north. Let's stop here for a second, make sure we're not being pursued. We are getting kind of low on gasoline. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to go check this Trader Gin uh, here. I don't know why I don't have that marked. Okay. Um, I've, I've already checked Trader Bob uh, in our old town here. But I haven't checked Trader Hugh. And there's also a Trader Joel and another Trader Joel in the desert. So I, I wouldn't mind making all those runs at night, uh, except for, like I said, we just don't have very much gas. Hmm. So what do we do about that? I don't have any gas in here, do I? I might have to rent some cars. Yeah, there's no extra gas in here. We need to we need to go back up to the Horde base and drop a couple things off anyway. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here then. And um, I'm going to actually wrench some cars so I can get some gas cans so I can make some more gas. And then, um, depending upon how our time goes, well, no, I am. I'm going to make the rounds with all the traders because we're out of a shotgun. Now, I can make a shotgun, but it's not going to be high enough level. You know, um, no, I can make a yellow shotgun, I guess. And we have the parts. And that's going to give us one mod slot. Oh, shit. 
shit, we lost the drum magazine too. Oh man, I hate that. Ugh. I guess we can make it though, and we have all the stuff, so we can make a new one. So I guess it's not that bad. Um, but I'd still like to see if we could find something a little nicer. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rent some cars. I'm going to hit all the traders, and I will record um, what I get at the traders if it's, you know, camera worthy. If it's just the basic stuff, I'm not going to record that. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back tomorrow on day 91, and uh, hopefully we'll have some time, you know, to do another job for a trader before the horde night starts. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.